Ansel's rubber gloves protect surgeons, firefighters, and industrial workers worldwide. But is the stock safe for your portfolio? Here to talk about that is the company's CEO, Magnus Nicolin. Welcome, Magnus. Thank you, Greg. Good to be here. All right, so tell me a little bit about Ansel first, because you, you also make rubbers, and I'm not talking about galoshes, right? Absolutely. We make condoms, and we're number two in the world on that. Good for you. But it's a smallest division. Uh, we're really focused on, on industrial hand protection and surgical gloves, um, and, and on those two areas, we're uh, number one and number two in the world. And you're based in New Jersey, but you're mm -hmm. listed in Australia, yep. so people can get to the stock through their brokers. Uh, they can buy the stock in Australia. Correct. Why won't you list here in the U.S.? Well, we, we used to be listed in, in the U.S. Uh, way back, but uh, trading volume was relatively low. Um, since that, a lot has changed with this company. It's, it's become a much bigger organization, um, and now we're globally owned. Uh, in fact, the, the second biggest ownership country is the United States. Um, so it's becoming more global, and uh, maybe we'll consider it one day. But frankly, we like uh, Australia. Uh, we're well banked, uh, well served, and we only have to, have to report twice a year, not four times a year. So we can focus on running the company. All right, and you have four divisions in the company. There's yep. medical, there's specialty, industrial. industrial, and sexual. Which one is doing the best right now? The industrial business. Why is uh, that? Because we have such a strong position in the global marketplace, and, and we're seeing the United States taking off a little bit. We see strong growth in automotive. Construction is coming alive a little bit. Um, and Europe is actually coming out of its sleepy period here. Uh, we see Germany uh, doing a little bit better. And then, of course, we have Latin America and APAC uh, that continues to do well. So to a certain extent, your company is a pretty good economic indicator of we, factory activity because when factories are churning out products, they need more safety gloves, right? Absolutely. And we're a global indicator. We're everywhere. In the so world. you're competing with the likes of Honeywell? Absolutely. Honeywell is, is the closest competitor, and we're twice as big as they are in, in our space. And as stock markets move higher, are people having more sex? So <laughs> does that help your... Uh, your condom, your rubber business, and I guess you compete with uh, Church and Dwight for that? Exactly, and it's actually the reverse. Uh, a, a bad economy is good for the sex business, and a good economy is good for the industrial business, so, so we have a little bit of a balance in our portfolio. I just learned something today. Yeah, yeah. And then finally, what about your input costs? Is the price of rubber moving up or down? It's actually coming down uh, recently, and part of it is related to China and automotive uh, demand in China and so forth. So that is helping us uh, primarily in the medical business where we see lower input costs and a pretty healthy uh, top line. All right, we'll watch the stock. Thanks a lot, yep. Thank you. Good being with you. Thank you for watching The Street.